Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Skate from Tarko video. In this video I'm going to give you a whole heap of uh, tips and tricks on how to improve your gameplay, get that little bit extra money, and just enjoy your experience playing Escape from Tarkov uh, better. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So I get a lot of questions during my live stream and in, uh, in the YouTube comments asking uh, a lot of random little things. So I'm going to go over all the little ones that I get that might actually help. So for the first one, uh, we've got here how to name a container. Effectively, all you need to do is right-click it, click tag, go over which uh, color you want. You can write, this is for YouTube. Whoop. That'll do. And it's up there in the top left corner. You can do this with pretty much everything. The issue you've got actually is if it's a one square thing, it uh, won't be able to say it properly. But it's say like a key bar, but Doc's cases work quite fine. Now the next one I get, which is uh, so much I can't even believe it, is people don't understand how quickly I can uh, change the, the bindings to an item. So say I was to just put on a new painkiller and I wanted to bind it to the 4 key, I literally highlight and just press the 4 key. If I want to take it 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9 or 0, it's just that simple. You just press the number you want. This is part of the quality of life changes that they've made uh, to help improve people's gaming experience effectively and they've got a lot more of these to come uh, and I'm excited to see what they bring but these are like some of the ones that get asked a lot. Now the next one I do sometimes when the server's lagging or I want to see what's going on with my ping and the, and the desync and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you press the console button which is either next to the one or the escape key on your keyboard and you type FPS space one you can actually show your current ping and FPS as well as if you go FPS space two has to all be lowercase by the way, you'll actually show further information on what's going on in the game. Now when you're inside a raid, you'll actually see uh, your ping fluctuate, you'll be able to see if, if it's in the amber or the red color, and that means there's issues, obviously you're at a higher ping, uh, so if you're playing on servers with friends from overseas, or um, you can actually see if you're actually sending data between the server and not. So that kind of gives you information on what's going on there. If you see a server, like if your server dies, you'll see like your net MS go to zero, stuff like that. So it's kind of handy to, to find out if what's going on with your, your server when you're playing. Now the next one that uh, is, is quite an interesting thing is you can actually quickly drop items while playing the game. Um, like for an example here, if you're running around and you just want to chuck something out of your rig onto the ground, you can literally just highlight the, the item you want to get rid of and then press the delete key. Um, something I've actually done is I've rebound this and you can do this purely just by going to the settings, going to the, uh, the controls, and then you just go down to uh, the, the throw item or the discard item and I've bound mine to the U key. And the reason behind the U key is previously there's no other bind for you, which is kind of handy as well. But when you're actually in the, the, uh, in the stash, if you want to quickly delete an item, you literally just press U and then right next to U is Y. You can literally just go over an item. Say you want, you've got a few items. They're worth trash. You don't even want to bother selling them because it's too much effort. You literally just highlight and press Y U. Sorry, U Y. And then it's gone. It's that simple. So you don't have to worry about dragging your hand across and all that kind of stuff. Um, I do this a lot when there's, say, a lot of, I don't know, just trashy items in my stash and I just want to get rid of some of them. Just like cheap, crappy ammo that's maybe worth a thousand rubles at best. The next one gets asked a fair bit and uh, it's, it's a really handy one to have. I actually have it on at all times. So you, when you're playing a raid and you've got the health bar at the top left and the stamina bar down the bottom left, uh, how to keep it up permanently. So say you're running around and you stop running and the stamina bar goes to full or you're not really sure because sometimes it disappears and I scroll the mouse wheel to bring it back up. You can actually get rid of having to worry about doing that anymore. And same with the health side of things by simply just going down to the settings, clicking the settings buttons, going across the game and always show interface elements. You tick that one on, you save it, and Bob's your uncle, you've got it there uh, when you're in a raid. Next one I've got is a little uh, tip and trick. Uh, it's effectively using the flea market to just save a little bit of money. So if you were to buy an IFAC off uh, therapists at the moment, they're sitting around 17,000 rubles. So um, once you buy one, you'll check that if you were to sell it right now, you'd only actually get 11,000 rubles. And so people are currently going to the lab coming out with, say, 10 IFACs. But they don't want to use all of them because there's just too many and they're not going to need it later and they're probably farming up a fair few of these. So what they actually do is they go onto the flea market and then they go to uh, to sell them there. Now it costs 17,000 rubles to purchase an IFAC uh, from therapist. But if you were to go to the flea market, sort by price, 
and you can actually pick up these for less. Now, this person's got them up for 300. Uh, that, you, the thing that you got to make sure here is make sure you're buying one that's 300 or 300. See how this guy's here trying to rip someone off with a, a 24 left? So make sure they're 300 or 300. I'm hoping in the future that um, you somehow can bind two, say, meds together that are exactly the same. Say they're like there's two on 200, and you could bind them together and get a 300 or something like that. So there's a bit of a diminishing return every time you do it. But effectively, like this person's selling uh, nine of them for 115,000 rubles. That's slightly cheaper than the uh, 13,900 each. Now, I usually buy my IFAX in bulk. So if I was to buy, let's say, let's say 30 IFAX um, at 14,000 rubles, where it would have cost me 17,000 from therapist, that's actually saving me 90,000 rubles just from buying them from the flea market. Now, like I said, just be careful that there's the 300 and 300 going on because that is a major one uh, that will catch people out. But yeah, this is just a little, there's a few things like this that there's just out there that you can actually buy stuff cheaper off the flea market than the actual traders themselves. Now, the next one I've got for you guys is how to uh, just make that little bit extra money on the flea market. Now, there's a few options. Uh, you're not going to get absolutely rich off this, but it's kind of handy to just know these. So a good example, um, I like to show with the, the med kits, for example, injectors. Now, these regen stim injectors, they actually sell to uh, therapists for about 21,200 rubles. Uh, I'll purchase this one just to be sure. So this is up for 21,000 rubles. Now, if I was to go to therapist... Twenty one thousand eight hundred fifty. Now I've made eight hundred rubles profit off this. It's not a lot, but uh, at times I've been able to go into the flea market, look at the stims, and now every stim has a different price. I actually wrote down all the prices. Uh, I don't have them with me at the moment, but effectively I went through all the stims and gone, okay, they're all under price. And I think I made two hundred fifty thousand rubles just because of all the people that had stims under the sale price. Um, now I know that once you have a it's going to be different for every person because therapist has uh, a different resale value depending on what level you have of her. And unless this has changed of recent, so every trader, as you level them up to a higher level, you'll get more money from selling items to them. Um, like I said, unless this has changed of recent, say in the last, say, six to eight weeks. So you should be able to get uh, more money selling them if you're already at max level. Now, this is, like I said, just trying to get that extra few rubles here and there. But it, it can be quite pertinent on uh, some bigger items like lions. Uh, lions, I think at the moment, is selling for about 125,000. Sometimes they'll drop down to like 100k. Um, the Pro Kill Medallions, I've noticed these ones seem to really sell cheap. This one, 100k, right? Cotton on the bottom. I just bought that for 100k. I'll sell this one on, to Therapist. 116,000. So there's 16,000 rubles made. I'm not saying this is a way to make a shitload of money, but maybe if you're like watching a movie or I don't know, doing something random, you can actually find some really cheap deals doing this and just straight up just sell them to vendor. Uh, other options you do have, uh, if you do have the newer quest done, uh, I can't remember which quest it is for the mechanic. I think it's to do with the shotguns. I'll just quickly check um, where you complete and be able to buy the mag cases. So the mag cases are locked behind a shooter board in heaven where you got to kill PMCs from 130 meters away with a headshot. Um, you can literally buy a mag case for 470,000 rubles. Now, I've already purchased uh, this one for this reset. Um, but if you've already got this quest done, 470,000 rubles, you literally go to the flea market, you go to magazine case, and bam, 1.15 million rubles. So I think this, for about 1.2, it's about 60,000 to put it up. I'm literally chucking mine up for like 900k just to get them sold quickly. And I literally make every reset 500k rubles, bam, just like that. Now there's two more new trades that you can uh, keep an eye out. Um, I currently, I can't really show you one of them, but effectively the sword is, uh, you can purchase the sword. I've got to I'll put an image up now, but effectively you can purchase the sword for a checkpoint key, a pro kill medallion, and uh, the military item. The military radio item uh, costs you about 1.3 million. That sword actually sells for around 2 million at the moment, maybe more, 3 million. So there's about 1.7 million profit if it sells. I've, I I don't know about you guys, but I just sell my items cheap. I give 
I'm kind of like an open book. I really just give away all my tips because I don't really care that much about, uh, you know, maintaining all the secrets. But effectively, yeah. So every time I sell one of these, I usually sell it for a bit, around two to two and a half million. Um, and so that's like a million rubles profit just there on a sword. The problem with this though, the sword sells out really quickly and it's locked behind a quest. Uh, the next one you have is the Crash Axe. That one uh, costs a little bit more to make. I think it's around 1.4 million rubles to make and or to, to barter for. And you can make, you know, sell it for 2 million. I, I seem to be able to sell them every now and then for around 2 million. And yeah, that's about 500k profit. I, I don't do these very often. I've actually been just making a shitload of money on the uh, on the lab. I've got a feeling the lab might get some sort of nerf eventually. But at the moment, it's, it's just a just money money for jam so guys that's all i've got for this video if you have any questions tips tricks things you would like to uh, add to this chuck it down below if you've got any questions about tarkov more than happy to help chuck them down in the comments i'll fill out sorry i'll reply to as many questions as i can otherwise if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe for future content i stream on twitch six days a week go down the link below give me a follow over there you can hit me up with questions on my live stream all my comments down below and lastly i'll see you next time did you ever know that you're my hero, Triple M?